actually thought that Janonan Caves would be much more smaller, but it turns out it was humongous. Seeing all the rock formations and like sometimes he would put on a bit of a light display for us and it just really like lightened up the cave and like helped us see it better. I really like how there was a wombat bones in there and I really like the lights around it. It's really pretty. When the schools come through the caves, uh, most guides treat the cave tours a little bit differently because we then have an opportunity to engage the school children in these processes. Uh, if I do a Lucas Cave tour and I'm taking the school children through, I'll take more time and I'll show them uh, the individual fossils that you can see in the walls. And when you look at a shelly fossil in the walls of limestone, you say it was once an ancient ocean, it really makes a difference to them. They understand that. We're also an amazing wildlife reserve. Uh, this is uh, an, a place where there are endangered species that you can see, beautiful endangered rock wallabies, you've got a lovely environment, there's a huge diversity of eucalypts. So this is the above ground environment. So uh, I would say they're both incredibly important. And this is one of the best places in the world to be able to see um, a platypus. Platypuses are uh, wonderful, extremely rare animals. We've got them here. So it's, uh, you can tie those two together, I think it's fantastic.